to another video by yours truly, Sahil Bora. In this video today, we're going to be talking about how to write infinite loops. But before we get started on how to write infinite loops, let's talk about what is an infinite loop. So, in simple terms and in a nutshell, an infinite loop is something which makes a program run forever and ever. It's never going to terminate because that's why we call them infinite loops, because they never, they never terminate. And a real life example that I can give you guys is that in my, currently in my job at the moment, I'm developing embedded firmware for diesel, for, for diesel, control, for diesel control panels, which run on, which run on uh, diesel engines. And since I'm developing uh, embedded firmware for, the, for these panels, we want these, we want the, we want these panels to run forever and ever, unless the, unless power has been switched off to the panel. So when we, so we, when we turn it on. We have, an, we have an infinite loop that is running forever and ever unless, that, that, unless the power has been turned off to the panel. That's a real life example of, of how infinite loops are applied. So, the three ways that we can write infinite loops. The first way we can use is a while infinite loop. So, to, to, write, a, to write a while infinite loop, all we have to do is write while and then we have one in the brackets and then we have two brackets under to create a while infinite loop. And then the second way we can write an infinite loop is using the for way. So the for way is that all we have to do is write for, and then we have, to, and then in the brackets, all we have is two semicolons, and then we have two brackets under to write a for infinite loop. And then the third way, which is the final way, which is the do infinite loop, all we have to do for the do infinite loop is just write do bracket bracket. And then under under that, all we have all we have is while, and then and then we have true next to it, as you see down below. So there you have it, guys. Those are the three ways that you can write infinite loops, and what they are in a nutshell. Especially when you're doing embedded programming, like I am at the moment, you got to be careful when you write, when you when you're using infinite loops, because you, if you misuse them, your program could end up running forever and ever, and you may not be able to terminate it. So keep in mind what they are and the three different ways that you can use them. Because just remember that there are many ways to skin a cat just like they are. There are many ways to tackle how to write an infinite looping program. So there you have it guys. Use it wisely. I hope you guys enjoyed my latest video. As you know, I'm always giving you something new. But what I'd like for you to do is that I would like for you to click on the link below and sign up for my free report on the five major tips to shorten and accelerate your learning curve in a matter of months. This free report is the report that I wish I had when I first started learning programming back in 2009 and it would have saved me all the time and frustration it took me to start understanding programming. It's yours completely for free and just scroll down below, click on the link and just sign up for the free report today. This is Sahil Bora reporting out.